Imagine a world where the night is no longer illuminated by the soft light of the moon, where the ocean tides become mere memories of a vibrant past. Without the moon, our planet and the life it harbors would face drastic and in many cases, irreversible changes. The connection we have with our natural satellite goes far beyond simple nighttime observation. It is intrinsic to our existence, shaping climates, natural rhythms, and even cultural aspects of humanity. The absence of the moon would send us on an uncertain journey, threatening the balance of Earth and revealing how much we depend on this celestial body for our survival and well-being in a planet already facing so many challenges. Why would we die if the moon ceased to exist? Before we begin, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to receive new episodes. Imagine Earth spinning like a top, its rotation axis tilted about 23.5 degrees relative to the plane of its orbit around the Sun. This small angle defines the seasons of the year, determining periods of cold and heat, depending on the tilt in relation to the Sun. But behind this apparent simplicity lies a delicate balance, and the Moon plays a fundamental role in maintaining this stability. The Moon acts as a kind of gravitational anchor for Earth. Its presence and the gravitational force it exerts keep our planet relatively stable, ensuring that the rotation axis does not shift chaotically. This balance is essential because if Earth's rotation axis began to oscillate too much, we would face devastating consequences for the climate, for animal and plant life, and even for our survival. To better understand, Imagine a child spinning a top firmly. While the force is constant, the top spins steadily. But if something interrupts that movement, the top starts to wobble and sway, losing control until it finally falls. The moon is like the firm hand that keeps our top spinning in an orderly fashion. Without it, Earth would begin to lose that stability and its rotation axis could vary unpredictably between zero and even 85 degrees. If Earth's axis varied in this way, the impact would be profound. With an extremely tilted rotation axis, regions that are temperate today could turn into frozen deserts, and places that are currently icy, like Antarctica, could experience periods of extreme heat. The seasonal changes we know so well spring, summer, fall and winter would become chaotic, with scorching summers lasting much longer in certain parts of the globe and harsh, prolonged winters in others. In addition to climate changes, variations in the axis would have direct consequences for biodiversity. Plants and animals have evolved to adapt to the rhythm of the seasons as we know them today. Many species depend on seasonal changes to reproduce, migrate and grow. If these changes became unpredictable, many forms of life simply wouldn't be able to adapt quickly enough. Imagine entire forests dying because the growing season for plants disappears, or bird and mammal species migrating to escape the cold, only to find unexpected temperatures at their destination. This would cause a collapse of entire food chains, destabilizing ecosystems across the planet. And it's not just living beings that would be affected. Humanity, with all its technology, also relies deeply on climate balance. Our cities, our crops, and even the distribution of drinking water are adapted to current climate conditions. An unstable rotation axis would bring periods of intense drought in areas that are currently fertile and torrential rains in regions that are now arid. Global agricultural production could plummet leading to mass famine crises and disputes over water and food resources. Moreover, this instability could trigger more frequent natural disasters. Atmospheric pressure would be affected by changes in Earth's tilt, influencing wind patterns and ocean currents. Hurricanes, cyclones and storms would become much more intense and frequent. And let's not forget about heat and cold waves, which could reach much more extreme temperatures than we are accustomed to today. So. Why is the moon so important for maintaining all this balance? It's all a matter of gravity and time. The moon has been orbiting Earth for about 4.5 billion years. 
This long gravitational relationship means that the Moon, despite being approximately 384,000 kilometers away from Earth, exerts a constant and stabilizing influence. Without it, Earth's rotation would be more susceptible to the gravitational influences of other planets, especially Jupiter, which, although much farther away, has powerful gravity. Such influence could cause rapid and unpredictable changes in Earth's rotation axis. To put it in perspective, Mars, which has only two small moons, Phobos and Deimos, and a mass smaller than Earth's, experiences rotation axis oscillations that range from 10 to 60 degrees over thousands of years. This contributes to its desolate and extreme climate, where conditions change drastically over time. If Earth were to lose the Moon, something similar could happen to us, only on a much more destructive scale, considering the complexity and vulnerability of the life we have here. Therefore, the Moon is more than a beautiful object in the night sky. It is a silent guardian, a faithful partner that helps us maintain the stability necessary for life. Without it, Earth would become an unpredictable and hostile place, where extreme oscillations of the rotation axis would make the planet almost unrecognizable. Thus, the Moon continues to influence us, even from a distance, protecting us from an uncertain fate. So, when we look at the sky and admire the Moon, it's important to remember that its presence is essential for the stability that allows our existence. To understand better, imagine a child spinning a top firmly. While the force is constant, the top spins steadily. But if something interrupts this motion, the top starts to wobble and sway, losing control until it finally falls. The moon is like the steady hand that keeps our top spinning in an orderly way. Without it, the Earth would begin to lose that stability, and its rotational axis could vary unpredictably between zero and even 85 degrees. If the Earth's axis varied like that, the impact would be profound. With an extremely tilted rotational axis, regions that are currently temperate could turn into frozen deserts, and places that are currently icy, like Antarctica, could experience extreme heat periods. The changing of the seasons, which we know so well as spring, summer, autumn and winter, would become chaotic, with scorching summers lasting much longer in certain parts of the globe and harsh, prolonged winters in others. Beyond climate changes, the variation in the axis would have direct consequences for biodiversity. Plants and animals have evolved to adapt to the rhythm of the seasons as we know them today. Many species depend on seasonal changes for reproduction, migration and growth. If these changes became unpredictable, many forms of life simply wouldn't be able to adapt quickly enough. Imagine entire forests dying because the growing season for plants disappears, or species of birds and mammals migrating to escape the cold, only to find unexpected temperatures at their destination. This would cause a collapse in entire food chains, destabilizing ecosystems across the planet. And it's not just living beings that would be affected. Humanity, with all its technology, also deeply depends on climatic balance. Our cities, our crops, and even the distribution of drinking water are adapted to current climatic conditions. An unstable rotational axis would bring periods of intense drought in areas that are currently fertile and torrential rains in regions that are currently arid. Global agricultural production could plummet, leading to mass hunger crises and disputes over water and food resources. Moreover, this instability could trigger more frequent natural disasters. Atmospheric pressure would be affected by changes in the Earth's tilt influencing wind and ocean current patterns. Hurricanes, cyclones and storms would become much more intense and frequent. And let's not forget heat waves and cold spells, which could extreme temperatures than we are accustomed to today. So, why is the Moon so important for maintaining all this balance? It's all a matter of gravity and time. The Moon has been orbiting the Earth for about 4.5 billion years, this long gravitational relationship means that the Moon, despite being about 384,000 kilometers away from Earth, exerts a constant and stabilizing influence. Without it, 
the Earth's rotational motion would become more susceptible to the gravitational influences of other planets, especially Jupiter, which, although much farther away, has powerful gravity. This type of influence could cause rapid and unpredictable changes in the Earth's rotational axis. To put this into perspective, Mars, which has only two small moons, Phobos and Deimos, and a mass smaller than Earth's, experiences oscillations in its rotational axis that vary between 10 and 60 degrees over thousands of years. This contributes to its desolate and extreme climate, where conditions change drastically over time. If Earth were to lose the Moon, something similar could happen to us, but on a much more destructive scale, considering the complexity and vulnerability of the life we have here. Therefore, the Moon is more than a beautiful object in the night sky. It is a silent guardian, a faithful partner that helps us maintain the stability necessary for life. Without it, Earth would become an unpredictable and hostile place where extreme fluctuations in the rotational axis would render the planet almost unrecognizable. And so the Moon continues to influence us, even from a distance, protecting us from an uncertain fate. That's why, when we look up at the sky and admire the Moon, it's important to remember that its presence is essential for the stability that allows our existence. Imagine you are on a night with a full Moon, watching how the silvery light illuminates the landscape around you. What many do not know is that this same light that enchants our eyes also exerts a mysterious and important influence on plants. From the germination of a seed to the flowering of a mature plant, the life cycle of plants is, in a way, synchronized with the cycles of the moon. The moon, in its cycle of about 29 days, goes through phases that range from new moon to full moon. These changes affect the amount of nighttime light and also the gravity that the moon exerts on the Earth. Just like the ocean tides, which are directly influenced by the moon's gravity, the water present in the soil and in plants also feels this force. When the moon is fuller, the gravity it exerts helps to raise moisture in the soil, facilitating water absorption by the plant roots. This can create ideal conditions for seed germination, as they need a moist environment to begin growing. During the new moon, the gravity of the moon and the sun combine in a way that causes water to concentrate more in the roots of plants. This helps strengthen the plants in their early growth phase. On the other hand, during the full moon, when the moon's gravity is stronger, water tends to be pulled more towards the upper parts of the plants, such as leaves and stems, facilitating nutrient absorption and stimulating vegetative growth. This movement of water rising and falling within the plants, according to the phases of the moon, is similar to what happens with ocean tides, only on a smaller scale and invisible to our eyes. Farmers and gardeners have been observing these changes for centuries, and in many cultures they use a lunar calendar to plan planting and harvesting. They know that planting during certain phases of the moon can make a big difference in plant development. For example, plants that grow upwards, like flowers and fruit trees, are better planted during the waxing moon, as the force of gravity helps to draw the sap upward, stimulating the growth of the aerial parts. In contrast, plants that grow closer to the ground, like potatoes and carrots, develop better when planted during the waning phase, when energy is more focused on the roots. In addition to the influence on water and plant growth, the light from the moon also plays an important role. During the full moon, the nights are brighter, which can affect plants that rely on light and darkness cycles to regulate their internal processes, such as photosynthesis and hormone production. The light of the full moon, although not as intense as that of the sun, can be enough to stimulate certain plants to bloom. Some night-blooming flowers, for example, open their petals when they sense the light of the moon, attracting pollinators like moths and bats, which help in the reproduction of these plants. This delicate ballet between plants and moonlight shows how nature adapts in surprising ways. Another fascinating aspect is that many plants use the lunar cycle as a sort of natural calendar for their activities. This includes the opening and closing of flowers, 
the release of fragrances to attract pollinators, and even the dispersal of seeds. Some species of aquatic plants, for example, release their seeds during the full moon, when the tide is at its highest, ensuring that their seeds are carried away to find new places to germinate. This connection to the lunar cycle allows plants to maximize their chances of survival and reproduction in a world where conditions are always changing. Although science today is beginning to understand the mechanisms that explain these influences, practical knowledge about the impact of the moon on plants comes from long before modern scientific studies. Ancient peoples who observed nature closely already knew there was something special about planting, harvesting and caring for plants according to the phases of the moon. This wisdom has been passed down through generations, often ignored as superstition, but now recognized as having a real scientific basis. Without the moon, life on Earth would be very different, and plants would certainly feel that absence. The lack of a natural regulator like the moon would disrupt cycles of moisture and nighttime light, and many of the growth and reproduction processes of plants could be negatively impacted. This delicate balance between the Earth and its natural satellite reveals the interconnectedness of all elements of nature, showing how even an apparently distant and lifeless entity like the Moon plays an essential role in our own existence and in the lives of the beings around us. So, the next time you look at the Moon, remember that it is not just a beautiful sight in the night sky. It is a silent ally to all plant life on Earth, influencing the development of every bud and flower that grows around us. And even though we cannot see its actions, its presence is fundamental for nature to follow its course. Imagine a starry night without the moon in the sky. It seems like a simple thought, but its absence would create a deep void, not just in the darkness of the night, but also in the hearts and minds of human beings. Since time immemorial, the moon has held a mysterious fascination for humanity. It is one of the few companions that accompany us on our journey through life, illuminating our nights and populating our dreams, stories and beliefs. The moon inspires us, guides us, and is present in our art, music, poetry and our oldest traditions. If it disappeared, we would not only lose a satellite in the sky, but a piece of our very essence. Throughout history, Different civilizations have developed myths and legends about the moon, seeing it as a goddess, guide, or protector. The Greeks worshipped Selene, the lunar goddess who crossed the sky in her silver chariot. The Egyptians saw the moon as the manifestation of Thoth, the god of wisdom and writing. In Norse mythology, the moon was personified by Mani, who guided the nightly cycles. And these are just a few of the countless ways in which ancient peoples tried to understand and give meaning to the pale glow that lit up their nights. The moon has always been there as a constant and unchanging presence, a symbol of mystery and transformation. The moon is also a bridge that connects the sky and the earth. Since humans learned to look at the sky, it has been a source of inspiration for poets, artists and musicians. In art, the moon symbolizes deep feelings such as longing, love, and loneliness. Songs about it speak of distant loves, encounters marked by moonlight, and reflections on existence itself. In cinema, the moon serves as a romantic backdrop, a setting for scenes of magic and mystery, a place of unreachable dreams. Without it, we would lose a rich source of inspiration that has brought some of humanity's most exciting and memorable works to life. And it is not only in art that the moon has left its mark. In various cultures, it influences festivities, rituals, and traditions that are part of everyday life. The lunar calendar, for example, is still followed by many societies, from counting months in Eastern religions to planting phases in traditional agricultural cultures. Celebrations such as the Chinese New Year, the Mid-Autumn Festival, and many religious festivals are marked by the phases of the moon, indicating moments of renewal, harvest, or spiritual reflection. Without the moon, these traditions would lose part of their meaning, and the bond between natural cycles and human practices would become more tenuous. 
The moon also plays a special role in the popular imagination and stories of each culture. Tales of werewolves, legends of magical beings that come to life in the moonlight, stories about loves that only happen under its pale light. All of this is part of our collective imagination. Even the stories we tell children of fantastic adventures where the moon is the silent witness to the hero's deeds carry the magic of this satellite. It's as if the moon were an old storyteller, sitting beside us and whispering its mysteries in our ears every night. Now, imagine a world without this, without the legends, without the mysteries, without the nights bathed in the soft lunar glow. Imagine a night sky without the presence of the moon, where the darkness would be denser, colder. The stars would still be there, but that special touch that always reminded us we are not alone would be missing. It would be a more empty world, less poetic, less mysterious. And more than that, the moon has been a powerful metaphor for the cycle of life. Its phases, from waxing to waning, symbolize the cycles of birth, growth, decay, and rebirth. It reminds us that everything in life has a rhythm, a beginning and an end, a light and a shadow. The disappearance of the moon would take away this mirror, this constant reminder that everything changes and transforms, but that beauty can be found in all phases. It would be like losing an old friend, one who has always helped us understand the meaning of our own changes. The moon has taught us to dream, to look up and imagine a world beyond what we know. It was she who inspired the first dreams of exploring space and challenged us to reach its surface with Apollo 11, a moment that united humanity in a feeling of achievement and possibility. Without the moon, the sky would be less challenging and we might lose some of the drive that pushes us to explore the unknown and seek answers to the mysteries of the cosmos. In a world without the moon, we wouldn't just lose a satellite. We would lose a part of our history, culture and imagination. The moon connects us to something greater, a link between what is human and what is cosmic. It is part of the fabric of our existence, and without it, we would be a little more solitary, a little more distant from the magic that makes life so fascinating. The moon reminds us that the universe is vast, mysterious and beautiful, and that amidst the darkness, there is always a light that guides us. Imagine a night without the moon. The sky is dark as pitch, and the stars seem shy, almost invisible. This scene is not just poetic, it is also a glimpse of what the world would be like if the moon disappeared. Long before artificial satellites, GPS and digital maps, the moon was one of humanity's greatest allies in navigation and exploration, helping sailors and explorers find their way on land and sea. Without it, our journey across oceans and continents would have been much more challenging. Since ancient times, the moon guided navigators. Picture a sailing ship cutting through the waves of the vast Atlantic Ocean at night. In the dark immensity of the sea, with no land in sight and the sky covered in clouds, the moon became a precious reference. Its bright light reflected on the waters, provided a fixed point in the sky that allowed navigators to maintain their course. Moreover, its cycle of phases from full moon to new moon helped in measuring time and understanding the planet's natural rhythms. Knowing that the moon would wax in a few days gave navigators the forecast of clearer nights, which was essential for crossing dangerous areas or locating distant islands. During the Age of Discovery, when the Portuguese, Spanish and many others ventured into the unknown, the moon was a true celestial compass. They didn't have advanced technology to measure latitude and longitude accurately. Instead, they used the stars and the moon as guides. The position of the moon in the sky, in relation to stars and constellations, provided valuable clues about their location. Even when the sea seemed like a desert of endless water, navigators could rely on the regularity of the moon's movement to know where they were headed. Now, imagine if the moon simply vanished. Not only would we lose this guide in the night sky, but we would also lose part of the knowledge accumulated over centuries. The absence of the moon would have drastically changed how early navigators explored the world. Without its light, nights would be even darker and more dangerous. 
Navigating without the moon would be like trying to find your way in a dense forest without a flashlight. To cope with this darkness, navigators would have needed to invent navigation instruments much earlier, possibly accelerating the creation of technologies like the astrolabe and sextant in history. However, even with instruments, accuracy would be an issue. The moon served not only as a night lamp, it also affected the tides, crucial knowledge for maritime exploration. Knowing when the tide would rise or fall allowed sailors to avoid dangerous reefs or navigate shallow areas. Without the moon, the tides would be much weaker, practically non-existent, and navigators would lose this precious knowledge that helped them understand the ocean's rhythms. This would mean more accidents, more shipwrecks, and much greater difficulty in exploring new territories. In addition to the direct impact on tides and visibility, the moon also played an important role in the imagination of peoples and in the courage to venture into the unknown. The moon has always been a constant presence in the sky, a faithful friend that everyone could see and recognize, even thousands of kilometers from home. For many ancient peoples, the moon was a symbol of hope and constancy, something that connected them to their homelands while exploring distant places. Without it, perhaps the courage to venture into the vast ocean would have been less. The unknown would seem even more mysterious and frightening without the familiar company of the moon. Over the centuries, technology advanced, and humans began to rely less on the moon for navigation. We invented GPS, launched satellites, and created maps that are precise enough to indicate a ship's position anywhere in the world. Today, we can cross oceans in large ships, relying on electronic devices that tell us exactly where we are. Yet still, the moon has not lost its symbolic importance. It is a reminder of our past when the stars and the moon were the only guides in the vast night sky. Now, if the moon were to suddenly cease to exist, even modern navigators would have to deal with some changes. Without regular tides, many ports would need to adapt their operations. Weaker tides would make it harder for large vessels to enter certain areas. And marine life, which also relies on tides, would undergo unpredictable changes, potentially affecting fishing and our understanding of the oceans. Additionally, astronauts and scientists studying the moon as a way to understand other planets would lose a study object that is so close and rich in information about the formation of the solar system. In a world without the moon, humans would need to adapt quickly, both in the past and the present. Today's technologies would likely help us find solutions to many problems, but we must not forget that the moon played a crucial role in guiding us through unknown seas, shaping our history of exploration and navigation. It is not just a satellite in the sky, it is a symbol of adventure, mystery, and how humanity has always sought to orient itself and explore the unknown, even when the world seemed vast and insurmountable. Without the moon, perhaps our thirst for exploration would have been more timid and our history very different. In summary, the absence of the moon would trigger a series of devastating consequences that would affect life on Earth in unimaginable ways. Every element of our ecosystem is interconnected and the moon plays a vital if you are intrigued by the gravity of these changes and wish to understand more about the mysteries of our planet, don't miss part three of this series. Subscribe to the channel Mysteries and join us on this fascinating journey to explore how the moon and other factors shape our existence. Come discover the secrets waiting to be revealed.